Good afternoon, everyone. Today is um, June 10th. Holy cannoli. Um, this year is literally driving by tremendously um, fast. So um, give me two seconds. I'm going to actually um, stream live um, to our group page. This is a new feature that I just became aware of, and hopefully more of you will be able to attend because it is um, streaming through our group page. So um, just give me a second. I'm going to make sure that it's working. And let's see, June 10, 2019, live Zoom meeting. All right. All right, so today we're going to we are going to be talking about customer loyalty. Um, I, I do have a structure with our Monday calls, and generally on the third week of the month, I like to have a guest speaker that's not in our group, and that has been the intention for many years. I mean, excuse me, many months since I started this back in um, back in January. Again, I've been doing live trainings for many years and then I stopped for a while. Um, and so I try to have some type of a structure when I um, set it up for the month so you guys kind of have an idea of what's happening. But um, we, oh goodness, I have to see the gallery to make sure I'm muting people. So if, when you come on, if you can uh, mute yourself, that would be awesome as people join um, slowly. Uh, I thought I, I thought I, put the feature that everybody's muted when they come in, but I don't know. Anyways, so one of, um, I have a guest speaker that's scheduled for next month. She was just scheduled for today, and I'm really excited about her. She's actually my best friend in the world. We've known each other since we were 10, and so um, she is one of the top performers in her industry and in her company. Um, it, it is a sales position and um, a recruiting position, so she is going to come on and share her top tips of working from home selling um, and keeping clients. So I'm excited for you guys to get get excited about that call. So I asked myself, what can I do to replace this call that was already planned because she wasn't able to come on today. And I thought, you know what, let's talk about sales. Um, you know, a lot of us are always focusing on recruiting, which is good because that is the main way you're going to create an income with Sensi. Um, hi, Melissa. Hi, Cindy. Um, but we, we also know that if we're not selling on a regular basis and bringing, creating that loyalty, it's going to be very hard to create leverage in our business. And direct sales and a direct sales business that has a consumable product is the best and pretty much only way to create that leverage. So through um, customer loyalty, we're going to be able to create that in our businesses. So I'm going to go over some top tips of how we can do that. Um, some of the reasons why we want to create loyalty and what the benefits are over, over the time. Now, this is just some of the things I, I came up with, but you're probably going to be able to share some things that you do and why you think loyalty is important. So if you do at the end, I'm going to open it up so everybody can add to that as well as, you know, ask questions and all that fun stuff. So um, I'm going to go ahead and pull this up. So if I look like I'm not looking at you, it's probably because I'm not. I'm reading from my, my list here. So um, let me actually move my little screen so I can still see you guys in case any hands go up or anything. All right. So customer loyalty. Why do we want loyalty from our clients? So one is, and oh, just so you know, I have this like little bullet point um, that I'm gonna post on the group page. So you don't have to necessarily take notes, you could take your own notes, but when I'm like doing, um, I'll tell you what the bullet points are and so you don't have to necessarily try to keep up if that makes sense. Um, okay, so the first bullet point is why do we want loyal clients? And so here are four examples of why we want them. You can eventually plan and rely on orders for PRV, 
on a specific order, or, um, ordering cycle. The second is to build a relationship in order to get to know them better personally, which in turn helps you cater to their needs and interests better. Um, three, to build trust from them in order to eventually transition them into Sensi Club members, hosts, and consultants. And then four, eventually to not have to hustle to find new customers in order to make your requirements for staying um, either active or uh, building and receiving sponsoring bonuses every month. So let's talk about the word hustle really fast. That is like thrown around so freely and almost with pride. And I personally, this is my perspective, you may not, you may not agree, but I personally don't want to hustle for the rest of my life. Um, I, it's something, hustle really does mean work your tail off, right? And who wants to have to do that? The thing is, is when we um, are working for someone else, it doesn't matter how long we've been there, how, how long we, um, how much knowledge we have of the company, whatever. It's a constant hustle because there's always requirements that are always going to be dropped on us and like more challenges and more um, expectations, especially as you move up the line, right? They're basically, well, if you're going to get a promotion, I'm going to pay you more, then uh, you're going to have to be busting your butt. And um, that's how they justify giving you that raise. Um, and spending the money on you and giving you that title. With our company, our specific pay structure, it's, um, you know, yes, you still have a stewardship and an obligation to, a, to support people, but um, when it comes to our sales requirements, after you become a lead consultant, it's the same sales requirement all the way up the chain to superstar director. And the reason why is because they want you to transfer your energy to your team, to training, to supporting, to, um, you know, leading by example. And what, how we're going to lead by example is by showing how to duplicate what we're doing and not um, make it look like it's hard. Because if it's hard, if we're hustling constantly, if we're stressed out constantly, if we don't have time to do anything, nobody's going to do that. Nobody's going to be like, ooh, I want to be like her. I want to do what she does, right? It's gonna, they're gonna go, um, no thank you. I have enough stress in my life. I have enough obligations on my plate. Um, so that's not gonna happen. So we want to eventually use the leverage that we create through loyal clients and of course building a team um, to not have to hustle anymore. Now in the beginning, yes, you may feel like you're hustling because you are building your foundation. Um, but I strongly suggest that over time, if you learn how to use our core values, which I'm going to talk about later, that even though you're, you're creating a foundation, you are building and you're in, you're in your probably most hustle stage of your business, you still won't feel that you still won't feel like you have that word. Um, you're, you're labeling yourself with that word of hustle. It's more like I'm doing things on my terms. I'm working harder because I choose to. And because it's for me, nobody else. Um, and because I can, you have a choice. It's not because I'm telling you you have to do something or your sponsor or your whoever your upline is. Um, you are the CEO of your company. And so when you decide you want to hustle that week or that day or that hour, it's your choice. It's not because the only way you're going to be successful is if you bust your, um, break your back. So... Okay, second bullet point is how do I create a system in order to rely on reorders? So this is something you're always gonna hear no matter um, how far you stay in this business. Um, Follow-up is the key, you guys know that. But um, here are some different categories in how you can be following up and make it work for you. So follow-up with Maven. Maven um, has specific templates that break down um, things you could be saying, things you could be doing um, to connect with these people more often to make sure that you're giving that care service that they need. Now, when I think about other direct sales companies that I purchased from, I can honestly say 